It's been a long wait for the new GeForce RTX 20 series cards, but now they're finally here. Hey guys, I'm Liz from M-Wave and today we're going to be taking a look at some of the features of the new 20 series cards. The NVIDIA GeForce 20 series cards use the new 12 nanometer Turing architecture, which, when combined with the new GeForce RTX platform, brings real-time ray tracing, artificial intelligence, and programmable shading to a reality. The RTX 2080 utilizes the new TU-104 GPU with 2944 shader cores and 8GB of GDDR6 memory, whereas the RTX 2080 Ti utilizes the new TU-102 GPU with 4352 shader cores, 11GB of GDDR6 memory and 68 RT cores for improved ray tracing performance. Ray tracing is a rendering technique, usually used in animation or production studios when creating movies. It offers far more detailed lighting, reflections and shadows which help to create a more lifelike and realistic image. NVIDIA's new RTX 20 series graphics cards contain RT cores that are specifically designed to run those ray tracing calculations in real time. High frame rates are maintained by combining traditional rasterization techniques with ray trace shadows, reflections and refractions. Ray trace frames also allow frames to be rendered with more detail than non-ray trace frames in scenes that contain multiple sources of light. In a future update of Shadow of the Tomb Raider, it will offer ray tracing options that will take advantage of the latest RTX 20 series hardware, as well as some other upcoming games like Battlefield 5 and Metro Exodus. DLSS is a new super sampling anti-aliasing technique that utilizes the deep learning strengths of the tensor cores in the new RTX 20 series graphics cards. Essentially, DLSS learns on its own how to produce results that closely approximate the quality of 64 times super sampling. By offloading this extra load to the tensor cores, it means that enabling DLSS has little to no impact on your frame rate. For extra control, it is adaptive and can be changed in the NVIDIA drivers with a slider. NVLink is the interface used to connect two GeForce RTX 2080s or 2080 Ti's for improved performance. The NVLink interface offers increased bandwidth over older SLI and SLI HB bridges for supporting high resolutions and frame rates. Along with these new features, NVIDIA GeForce RTX 20 series graphics cards carry over existing technologies such as Thank you so much for watching. There's a link down in the description for those of you who want to buy a GeForce RTX 20 series card for yourself. Make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to the M-Wave channel if you enjoyed watching. Thank you so much. We'll see you next time.